Hello, hello, this is Rod, Live Within Your Means. And uh, I've got a very important video that can change your life and most likely will if you apply some very simple things. I'll give you some very simple things to do today that will have it really change your life most likely. So, uh, you'll remember uh, if you watched the other day, I put up a little video telling you how I had found a 12-step program 11 weeks ago today that really changed my life. And uh, here I am on the right. I weigh uh, you know, less than, probably less than 195 pounds. And yet, uh, less than 12 months ago, I weighed 237 pounds, tip the scales at 237. So I've lost around 40 pounds, but I lost around 15 of this before November on my own. Then I found this amazing 12-step program and went to a, for my first meeting on December the 12th and you can see here on the on the left where you know the difference in in how I look and believe me there's a huge difference in how I feel um, thank you if you uh, like this video if you've subscribed uh, please share and like it and uh, that's up to you but I hope to bring other things to you and learn how to do better videos so on the uh we're going to change here and i'm going to get rid of this background and i'm going to go here so you can see my screen now this is a site called 12steppers.org and uh <clears throat> it's not that this site is so neat but it does tell you what a 12-step program is and if you go down to the very bottom of this first page down to the very very bottom guess what there are links to these 12-step programs and uh, there's a whole bunch of them now I went to one a little over a month ago called food addicts it is foodaddicts.org the program is called food addicts in recovery anonymous and I'll tell you what I was so amazed after going to my first meeting and I did a video to show you how to find these meetings and there's questions you can ask yourself if you're an addict chances are most of us have it we're all broken a lot of us have addictions I would say over half of America understand food addictions even if they don't realize they have a food addiction but if you tr you've tried to lose weight unsuccessfully especially a number of times um, chances are pretty high that you've got a food addiction and when you go to this 12 steppers program you'll notice down here in these links there's a link here for, there it is, Food Addicts in Recovery Anonymous. Here's another program called Food Addicts Anonymous. Another program that was over here related to it called Overeaters Anonymous. There's Sex Addicts Anonymous. There's Alcoholics Anonymous, which this whole thing was founded on. Alcoholics Anonymous is a program that began uh, in the 1930s with professionals, some pro medical professionals, psychologists, doctors that, uh, to be honest with you, they were charging a lot of money to help people overcome their addictions. And they weren't really having success. And here's the thing. A few of them were alcoholics themselves, and they didn't know what to do. They finally decided to get a bunch of people together that had these problems and help them for free. And then they realized they all understood each other's addiction and they built, built on each other's successes and Alcoholics Anonymous was born where no one was making money, no organization, uh, no, no church or big business getting a bunch of credit or money from it and everything started changing and these men were able to get recovery and help other people get recovery and they did it anonymously, they did it free and, uh, and 12-step programs were born. Now, Alcoholics Anonymous, there's another program, there's a link on, the, on this 12-steppers to it, called Al-Anon, and that's a program for people with loved ones that are suffering from alcohol addiction. There was another one on there, a link to Naranon. Oh, and let's see where that is, Narcotics Anonymous, for people that are dealing with drug addictions. And, you know, when people that we love are suffering from something, we all suffer. You know, we, we, we're happy when we know uh, what our loved ones are doing, and we're even happier when we know that they're doing well, and they want us to do well. We want them to do well. 
And uh, so find a 12-step program and attend it, one that will help you. And have a, over half of America can uh, benefit from a, a, an Overeaters Anonymous program, or especially this Food Addicts in Recovery Anonymous, because I would say well over half of Americans are overweight. In fact, a lot of them are becoming obese. We don't need to be overweight. We don't need to be obese. And when we go to a, a free 12-step program where people are helping each other, <laughs> unlike the multi-billion dollar industry that doesn't really want people to know about this until they tell them because they want them to have more success when they're charging them money. And, uh, and they find that the people that join these programs have tremendous success. And, uh, and you're grateful that someone told you, but what's nicer is when you don't have to pay a bunch of money and, and you learn about these 12 step programs. Um, I'm just going to briefly tell you a little bit about how these work. So the Food Addicts in Recovery Anonymous is the one that I go to. When I when you first go to a meeting, <clears throat> uh, it's it's amazing. And they end up with promises that we're going to uh, look at at the very end here. But let's just spend a few minutes so you know what these are about. This Food Addicts in Recovery Anonymous program is set up so well that the people that go for the first time they understand very quickly how this thing works. And because we start off with a serenity prayer, you've probably heard it before, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom, and wisdom to know the difference. Then the next screen they put up, and people read these and volunteer to read them, you can volunteer to read them, and uh, for the other people. And it tells you what food addiction is. And they define it. Then how this whole program works. So whether you're going for the first time or the hundredth time, and there are people that have been to hundreds of these over and over because they're helping each other, and it helps keep them in recovery. And uh, then they talk about, you know, they continue talking about how this program works. Then they go over the 12 steps, which are very similar in each of these 12-step programs, regardless of what the addiction is. They're very similar. Then they have 12 traditions. And one of the traditions is, you know, to keep it anonymous and to serve others. And then one of these, they talk about the seventh tradition, that all these groups should be self-supporting. So they pass around a little basket. You can put a few dollars in if you want, if you have it, if you feel like it's something that's benefiting you. And a lot of people do. To cover the room, or they rent a room. And... Uh, and some of this goes toward literature, and you can buy literature there if you want to. But these are amazing. And anonymity is a big thing, and, and sponsorship. So eventually, then they talk about the tools of abstinence, or abstinence is a tool, tools of recovery. Uh, and they get a sponsor, and you can, they'll help you find a person to sponsor you, people that you feel comfortable with that you can call, that can call you, where you can call each other and support one another. And uh, but you, we use the telephone. We do call each other, um, and and you don't have to give out your number. You don't. You do what you want. Uh, you keep it anonymous. There's literature that we can read. We can write. I'm not a big writer, but I do a little bit of journaling now. And uh, quiet time where we connect with our higher higher power, or we meditate, uh, and we show gratitude, and then service. We serve each other. And then the neat thing at the end of these meetings. And this was amazing, because when they read this promise, and I've volunteered to read the promises a few times, you realize that these people know that this is true. These promises are here for everyone. Listen to this. Um, and, and when you've seen these other people that have had success, whether it be a few weeks, a few months, a few years, or a few decades, you leave that meeting and you'll realize, oh my gosh, there's hope for me with my addiction. Let me read this. If we pay are painstaking about this phase of our development, we will be amazed before we are halfway through. We are going to know a new freedom and a new happiness. We will not regret the past nor wish to shut the door on it. There's no reason to shut the door on our past. It's helped to make us what we are, the people that we love. They've helped to make us what we are, the places we've gone to school. All of our past is part of us, right? That makes us what we are, except that we can go through these programs and become better people. Our lives will change. We will comprehend, let's continue reading, 
the word serenity that means peace and we will the word will comprehend the word serenity and we will know peace no matter how far down the scale we've gone no matter how far things have gone no matter how bad your addictions have become no matter whether you've gone to prison or other things you don't stop where you're at go to one of these meetings and change your life we will see you really can we will see how our experience can benefit others just like their experience is going to benefit you you don't have to go through everything yourself that feeling of uselessness and self-pity will disappear next screen here we will lose interest in selfish things and gain interest in our fellows self-seeking will slip away our whole attitude and outlook on life will change fear of people and of economic insecurity will leave us we will intuitively know how to handle situations which used to baffle us we will suddenly realize that God or our hard power right is doing for us what we could not do for ourselves are these extravagant promises and let me tell you in the group the live meeting when you say read that part are these extravagant promises everyone says we think not because they all know this they are being fulfilled among us now sometimes quickly sometimes slowly they will always materialize if we work for them so this is really amazing they finish up with the serenity prayer I can't even tell you how worth it it is even if you don't think you have an addiction to go to one of these 12-step uh, meetings you might go to a food addicts anonymous uh, meeting uh, food addicts in recovery anonymous meeting if you don't think you have other addictions or you might guide others but if you go you'll be amazed you might go to a Alcoholics Anonymous meeting or an Al-Anon meeting or a Narcotics Anonymous meeting and uh, but check out some of these 12-step meetings help you help yourself and others to change your lives so um, I appreciate you being here appreciate being able to share this with you <clears throat> and let's see if I can put this display back on oh is it not working I don't oh wait it was the background there we go and uh, anyway this is Rod live within your means showing you how to do these things that people spend thousands and and insurance companies and states spend tens of thousands of dollars on and do not have the amazing success that these free totally free programs where people with addictions help each other and uh, it's absolutely amazing but thank you for uh, watching this video thank you for sharing it and for liking it and subscribing and uh, hopefully I'll be doing some other things that will change your lives and ha help you learn to live within your means so this is Rod live within your means and have a wonderful day